Hey guys, what's going on? It's Obes Gaming back again with another video, and today we're taking a look at the objectives, birthday, hands of Chowdhury. So we'll have a look at his stats, take a look at what we need to do for the objectives, and then build a squad to get it done as fast as possible. All right, let's jump in. So first of all, jumping into his stats, he's five foot ten. He has three star skill moves and five star weak foot. That five star weak foot is going to be lovely if you are going to use him as a CDM, as that sort of pivot. Three star skills isn't ideal, but it's not too bad if you're going to use him as a defensive player. You know, with looking at those stats, he may be better suited to centre back anyway. But we'll jump in and have a look at his actual stats. So, 80 pace, that is 81 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, which is pretty nice. Uh, again, I'm looking at this already, I'm thinking as a centre back more likely, because the shooting really isn't great. So, he's not going to be an attacking threat whatsoever with 59 finishing. Passing is nice enough, 81 vision, 90 short pass, 87 long pass. So, you know, all the key passing stats there are really good. Decent enough agility, 84 agility, 78 balance, 81 reaction, all in the 80s, 77 dribbling. So it is, it's good without being unreal. 87 defending, which is where it starts to get a bit nicer, 86 interceptions, 88 defensive awareness, 90 stand tackle, 89 slide tackle, and physical. Really nice jump in, lovely stamp. Decent strength and 96 aggression, so he's an angry boy. And looking at player traits finally, nothing important there. So looking at this, I've got to be honest, I'd be whacking a shadow on it and sticking it as a centre-back. Uh, because he hasn't got the stats to really be an effective box-to-box -box winner or really even a CDM, to be honest with you guys. But as a centre-back, I think that could be a nice card. So anyway, let's jump into the objectives and see what we need to do for that. So here we have him. We have Anchorman Assists, assist five goals using CDMs in Managerial Masterpiece, okay. Wicked Weak Foot, score three finesse goals using players with minimum four-star weak foot in Managerial Masterpiece. Premier Party, score 11 goals using Premier League players. Steady Success, win eight matches in the Life at Friendly. Managerial Masterpiece with six Premier League players in your starting squad. And Fox in the Box, scoring 14 separate matches using English players in Managerial Masterpiece. So if we just go and double check with Managerial Masterpiece, yeah, it has been up to 79 for good. Uh, so that gives us a lot more options about the sort of players we can use. So let's jump in and build this squad to get this done as quick as possible. So first things first. We're going to be using the 4-4-2-2 formations to make sure we have those CDMs and obviously make sure the players that are playing there are actually converted as CDMs. So to begin with, in goal, we are going to go for Nick Pope, purely because fairly low rating and probably the best keeper in the game, to be honest. Now that managerial masterpiece has been moved up to 79, it means you know we've got a lot more options about the sort of players we can use. Similarly, on that sort of same vein, we're going to go for Joe Gomez at the back. Again, only 83 rated and just one of the best defenders for lower ratings in the game. To partner him at centre-back, I'm going to use my 78 for Fana because for those stats at 78 rating, that is really decent. Again, you could use any sort of you know under 80 centre-back there and it'll work fine. Right back, I'm going to be using Ryan Fredericks because that pace for that only 76 rating, it lets you use better players elsewhere and it's a bit of a no-brainer with him. Left back, we are going to go for Zinchenko. There's not a lot of good options in the Premier League at left back, but um, he's sort of, you know, low rating, still has decent enough stats. His pace is great, but you can make do. For the two CDMs now, we are going to be using Ndidi and Allen, purely because they're both decent ball playing you know, defensive midfielders to get those assists. And, you know, they are naturally defensive as CDMs as well. Okay, now these are the things to consider. Left mid, one of the most important players for this is not going to be Jota. It's going to be our boy, Alan Maxima. For the main reason that he has that four-star weak foot and he can cut in and get those finesse goals. So he'll be flying through them. On our right side... We are going to be going for Rafina. He doesn't have that, but again, he's probably our best bet for a lower rating. And then finally, as our two strikers, we are going to go for, for those weak foot goals, Richarlison, because he does have that five-star weak foot. And to partner him up front, remember, we need those English goals. And there's not going to be much better than getting our boy Jamie Vardy is having a party up top. And even with an 86 rating, that's going to be fine. I know you're looking at that saying that's 82 rated, but what we do is I've got our old little trick. Going onto the bench, going gold, low to high, 
don't want Premier League. And just get in. 475 rated on the bench. Unsure why we're allowed to use Mark Noble because you know he should be an icon card by now, surely. Um, but moving on. On to our silvers. Same again. 365 rated. And that should drag us down to, yep, 79 rated. And that's a pretty meta team, you know, as far as, far as keeping it 79 rated goes. It's not going to be much better than that. And you should be able to cover off all bases, really, with that. With our English goals of Vardy, our weak foot goals of Richarlison, and uh, some Max Man and our assists from the two CDMs. Alright guys, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope it helps you to get this done as quickly as possible. If it does, please leave a like and subscribe. It means the world to me. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.